Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Fleur and in the next half hour we're going to do some nice hip openers. So if you have, maybe you could take some blocks, two bricks or something that you can use for support, but you can also do it without and uh, please use this practice mindfully. If you're practicing at home, use it in a way that you feel safe in your body and you don't over push into any areas in yourself. So when you're ready, come into a comfortable seated position and then find a nice long spine, closing your eyes. And then take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale, sigh it out. And then closing the mouth and place your awareness on your breath. And just notice the flow of your air moving in through the nostrils, moving down into your belly, and then moving back out, letting with the exhale all unnecessary tension gently move away. So releasing tension in the jaw, in your shoulders, feeling with the next inhale how you can Find space from the hips all the way up to the armpits. Feel how the back of your neck can lengthen upwards. And let there be weight in your sit bones. So feel the weight of your legs. Take a few more rounds of fully being present with your breathing. And from here, bringing your hands to your heart center, lift your heart to your hands and set an intention for your practice. You might like to also send out some energy or love to someone And then take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out. Good. Blinking your eyes open. And let's start with just bringing our feet into Padakonasana. So soles of the feet together. Now, just taking a little wriggle into the hips. If Padakonasana, so butterfly, is not very comfortable, you might want to sit a little bit higher, maybe taking something underneath your hips, uh, sit bones, and then from here, let's start to massage them into our feet. So bringing your fingers inside your toes. So little finger in between your little toe and fourth toe, and so forth. So ring finger in. They might not go in all the way, but see if you can just squeeze them in. This might be quite intense for the feet. So you can do it very slowly and gradually, and then give them a little massage. So just massaging out the feet a little bit moving the hands like side to side good forward and back just feel how that feels in your feet so stimulating the muscles in the feet good. and then holding this quite tightly in and we're just going to take a little breath in through the chest and on the exhale use the fingers in your feet grab the fingers with your toes and draw yourself little by little forward Inhale and come a little bit back up again. Release a little bit the pose, open the chest, and exhale again. Squeeze a little bit into your fingers and reach the crown towards your toes. And again, inhaling, release. Exhaling, pressing the soles of the feet together. Squeeze your fingers with your toes and draw yourself forward. Try to avoid the shoulders coming in, so try to avoid rounding too much through the spine, you want to lead a little bit through the chest. Keep going, just do a few more movements, inhaling, coming back up, exhaling, draw in the belly, lead a little bit with your chest. The movement might be quite small, might be just here. If you can't reach the toes, then just hold your ankles and try to do the movement with holding the ankles, so little movement 
forward and back whilst pressing the feet together. Just doing four more. With your breath, with your eyes closed if you like. Feeling if there's each time a little bit more space. And the last one. And then folding forward. Now press the feet together. See if you can reach the knees outwards to the side. No matter if you're holding your ankles or still having the fingers in your toes. And draw the knees to the floor. So try to open them up to the side. Squeezing them out to the side whilst the chest is still open and you're pulling a little bit on your ankles or your toes. And then release. Come slowly back up. Just release the toes, pull them out and then give the toes a little wriggle. And then step the feet in and just give your knees a little shake side to side. Working into those joints. We're going to come back to that later. And then from here, let's come into a tabletop position, bringing your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Draw the navel and just start with a little cat cow, so opening up through the spine. Exhale, draw the belly in and round through the spine. Inhaling, open, activate the back muscles, keeping the chest lifted but not over stretching in your neck and exhaling round. Inhaling, long neck, open heart with shoulders back, exhaling round. And one more. And then round. Come back to your neutral position and then start rotating the hips over and back over the heels. Keep the hands grounded, so spread the fingers so you're also working into your wrists. If you like, you can come even further forward, so rotating over your wrists. So also warming up the wrist. Do three more circles in this direction. Going into the full range, if that feels good. And then changing direction. Rotating the other way. Find those juicy bits on the side of the hips. And three more. Two. And one. Good. Well done. From here, tuck the toes under, lift into a downward placing dog. Draw the hips back and up. There's hooked. And start to walk out through the heels. Finding your first downward dog, spread the fingers, look forward. So you can turn the fingers slightly to the side. So outwards, rotate the shoulders away from your ears. Keep your neck soft. If you need to, you can still bend the knees slightly and then draw the hips back and up. So you're not coming forward with your chest, you want to draw them backwards. If you've got open shoulders, trying to collapse into your shoulders, so you want to activate rotating the shoulders outwards and keeping your ribs drawn in, so again you're not arching into your back. Good. From there, try to draw the heels down one by one. Still breathing slowly, connected to what's happening in your body. And then bring the big toes together, touching. And lift your right leg up into the sky. Lift it high up and then start to bend your right knee, bring the right heel towards the right battle. Battle? <laughs> battle. <laughs> Reach it towards the left. Try to keep your left arm straight so you're not turning or twisting your shoulders as if you're looking under the right arm. But you want to keep them stable. Reach, squeeze that glute of the right leg. On your exhale, bring your right foot outside of your right hand. Good. You can bring the left knee down if you like. If this is too low for your hands, use your blocks. I'm just demonstrating with one block, so bring your hands up. Good. From here, find a lift in your chest. Inhaling here. On your exhale, draw your hips back. It doesn't matter if the right leg doesn't straighten, but try to attempt it. Inhaling, open the chest. I'll do it without the block. Open the heart. Exhaling, drawing the hips back. So a little hamstring stretch in the right leg. One more, inhale, open the chest, exhaling, drawing the hips back. 
Back heel stays high. Inhaling, open the chest this time. Reach up the right arm and stretch it up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing down to the right leg. Don't overarch the arm. Look up to the thumb. Press down to your left hand. Draw navel in. And then breathing back in. Bring the hand back into the middle. Both hands inside of the right foot. And take a little rock forward and back with the back foot tucked. Opening the chest. Well done. And then from here, bring the left knee down. Draw the hips back. Frame your front foot. And take a little stretch breathing in through the chest. Exhaling, fold of the right leg. Inhale to open. And exhaling, fold over the right leg. One more. Inhale to open. And exhaling to fold. Walk yourself back forward. Bring the right leg out to the side and back. And then come back into a down facing dog. Walk out a little bit through the legs. Bring the big toes touching. Lift up your left leg into the sky. Bend your left knee. Try to reach the knee high, squeezing your left ankle towards the right buttock. Draw the belly in, keep the shoulder stable. Try to open the hip by bringing left hip over the right. One more breath here. Keep pushing the front of the mat away, so strong arms. And then move the left foot outside of the left hand. Good. Find the position here. Breathing and open the chest. Draw the hips down. Keep the knee over the ankle. Exhale, drawing the hips back. And then inhale, open the chest. Exhale, drawing the hips back. Two more. Inhale. One, two. No, that was the last one. Three. <laughs> Exhale, drawing the hips back. Good. Three times. And then bring the hips forward. Open the arm up towards the ceiling. Push into your right hand. Press into left foot. Look up to the left thumb and rotate the chest towards your left. Keep the back heel high. Feel the activity in your core. Nice long breath. And bring your hand back down to the inside of the foot. Look forward and come to a lizard. So open lizard, trying to draw the back heel away and rocking backwards and forward. And then bring the right knee down, framing your left leg and then drawing the left leg, left hip back. In a half Hanuman, maybe you can flex the toes and just three breaths, inhaling, navel draws in, exhaling, folding over the leg. Inhale, lengthen the chest, exhaling. Try not to drown too much, so you want to lead with your collarbones and draw in the navel, so you fold. One more, inhale, lift, exhaling to fold. Come back forward, bring hands inside of the leg and then drawing the leg out to the side. And step it back into a downward facing dog. Good. Walking out through the heels. Take a little stroll. Good. And then from here, stepping your feet to the middle of the mat. Hang forward for a moment. And roll yourself up to standing. We're not going to stay here. We're going to face the front. And then we're going to step or hop out to the side. Turning your feet forward. Make sure the side of the feet are parallel to the side of the mat. We're going to bring our hands to the hips option. You can also bring your hands onto the temples or gently behind your head, not pulling your head forward. Or if you want a little bit of a stronger version, you can bring your arms around maybe a block. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to do 10 times. I'll show you all options. We're going to fold forward, keeping the legs active. So nice and strong, belly in, and we're going to push back up. Now, when you come forward, try not to round like this. Right? We don't want to come this, so you want to roll the shoulders back. Lead forward with the collarbones. Try to make a nice long back and then pushing back up. If you're doing the version with hands behind the head, again, don't try to drop the elbows. So you have to keep this active. You will notice as soon as this, it becomes easy, is when you drop the head. If you're doing the hardest version, if you're familiar to this, please maybe start with the first one. You can reach the arms forward. Again, this will happen. Your arms will want to come down. So this is quite strong in your shoulders as well. Let's do it 10 times. I'm going to do the middle version just so you can watch my back. <laughs> so here we go. Breathing in. Lengthen forward. Exhale. Push the floor away. Come up. One. Breathing in. Forward. Exhaling. Two. If you notice that you're finding it challenging, maybe just do five. We're on three. Back up. Squeeze the glutes together. Four, 
challenging keep them on the side or if you're holding a block reach them next to your ears and we're going to hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 you're good 4 nearly there 3 2 don't collapse 1 slowly bend your knees bring yourself back up good well done remove the block from here Stand tall, turn out your right toes to the side of your mat. Go left toes slightly in, bend your right knee, warrior two. Open your arms out to the side. And then from here, lift your heel again. Lift your heel and try to rotate the knee slightly out of the side so you feel this activate. So here this energy is activated. So keep the heel up and then slowly bring it down without losing this energy. This activation of your groin. Press into the outside of your left leg. Beautiful. From here, taking a deep breath in. Exhaling, bend the knee a little bit more if available. Bring the elbow towards your thigh and open the chest. Nice long in the neck and then reach the arm up and over so you find a nice long line. Do not collapse in the shoulder. Reach and lengthen. Good. Well done. Exhaling. Feel the energy in your feet. Breathe in. Come back up. Reaching the arm up over. Come to warrior two. Inhaling, arms reach up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Now reaching from here, your arm twist forward and come to eagle arm. So bringing your right arm underneath the left. So also going to the shoulders. So if that doesn't work, you can also just hold your shoulders with your hands. Otherwise, try to double clasp the hands. I'll go slightly sideways so you can see a bit better. We're going to stay in our warrior two stance and we're going to start reaching our elbows forward so you feel the stretch or the opening of the middle of the shoulders. Elbows reach forward, not down. Elbows reach forward. Keep the warrior two legs. Press into the feet. Draw the hips back and try and imagine the elbows want to come to the floor. Then soften your head. Stay here for another three deep breaths. Feel how strong your legs are. Reach the elbows forward so you open the middle of the shoulders. Two. And three. From here, bring the hands down to the floor. Stay in your warrior two legs. I know it's burning. No, it's burning. Bring your right hand on top of the right thigh, not on your knee, on the thigh, and try to rotate the flesh outwards and bring the left hand towards your left ankle and bend your right knee. Feel the stretch in your left inner leg. Keep the leg active so you're not collapsing on the inner leg. Hold it. Well done. Bring both hands into the floor, straighten your right leg and turn your toes in. If you need to, you can take a block or block for support. Take a breath in, open the chest, exhale to fold. And then from here, just either relax in your head or if you can, just keep a little soft shake in the head, bring the hands in line with your feet if that's available and draw your head towards the thumb. Coming slowly back up, maybe turning the toes out, zooming the stance, hands onto your knees, and then press the floor back up. Turn your toes in, turn your left toes out. There we go. <laughs> left toes out. Warrior two, open the arms to the side. Good, there we go. And then again, lift the left heel, turn the knee out a little bit to the side so you feel again the inner groin activate in the hamstring. Find the energy in your glutes, press into the right foot, open the chest and then bring the left heel down and you feel everything is nice and strong in your legs, breathing in. On your exhale, bring your left elbow down towards the thigh, breathe in, open the right chest, draw the belly in so you're not arching in the back and then reach the arm up and over, keep the armpit facing down, stretching out through the right, keep nice and long through 
the neck. Good. Breathe and lengthen. Well done. And then from here, bring the arm back. Press the floor away. Straighten the leg. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend the left knee again. Left elbow underneath your right arm. You can hold your elbows or you can interlace into eagle arms. Lift the elbows up towards your face, hands away from your face, and then draw the hips back again on the side side there, sideways again, you can see it. So elbows come forward, reaching the elbows away from you, head softens a little bit, and find that stretch in the middle of your shoulder blades. The legs stay in your warrior two legs, so don't let the left knee come in. The left knee still draws out to the side. Two more breaths here. And slowly release. Bring the hands down to the floor. And then place your left hand on top of your left thigh. Rotate the knee out to the side. The thigh, I mean, sorry. Fingers on top, thumb underneath. And right hand towards the right foot. Again, keep the leg active. Activate the right thigh especially. And sink the hips down. Deep breath. And release the left hand, bring the left hand down, turning your toes inwards again. And one more time, this time holding your big toes, grab the big toes, open the chest, exhale, elbows bend, draw the head towards the floor, pull your navel in and try to draw the shoulder blades together. So the bit we just stretch, now draw it together. Slowly releasing the toes. From here, little ninja, turn your right toes out. Start to bend your right knee. If available, come on to the heel of your left leg. You can use it with your hands. You can bring the hands in prayer in front of your chest. And then switch, breathing in and exhaling over to the other side. You can also do it with walking your hands side to side. So a little walk and switch. It doesn't matter how low you go. You can stay up here. You can even do it just with the hands on the side, maybe the foot stays down, and just a little movement, making sure the knee is in line with your ankle and the toes, so you're not turning your knee in. Just take a few rounds, stretching in where you feel it's okay. There could be all kinds of variation that you feel it's quite fun to do. Good. Do one more round going from left to right. See it as a Study of yourself. So how does that feel? Where is the challenge? Can you make it really smooth in your body? That's it. Good. I'm not saying good to myself. I'm just saying good to you. <laughs> All right. And then from here, coming back to the center, bring your hands again into the center. Well done. And then step the hands down and then come back into a tabletop position. This next one is going to strengthen, but also a little, it's a little bit mean. From here, place your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the left toes, and bring your right leg out to the side, pointing the toes, good. So now make sure your core is engaged. You can do this with the leg straight, but you can also do it with the knee bent. And try not to push your hips way out to the left. So, we're gonna lift the leg up six times, and then we're gonna hold it six and pulse for six, and then we're gonna hold it steady. Here we go, breathing in. Draw the navel and exhale, lift the leg. One. Inhale, lower. Exhale, two. Try just to move the legs. And lower. Three. And lower. Long neck. Four. And lower. Five. And lower. Six. Hold it. Little pulses. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And holding it for six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Well done. Remember that you can do this one with your knee bent. Let's do the other side. And moving over, left leg out to the side. Hands supporting you. you can bring the hands a little wider, that can sometimes help as well. I still have a picture. I think so. Yes. And here we go. Draw the navel in and lift. So this is a variation on you if you do it with the knee bent, trying to keep the stabilization. Six and lower. Five and lower. Four, a little bit twisted. <laughs> Three, and lower. Two, and lower. 
and one, hold it, little pulses, six, five, four, press the floor away, three, two, one, holding it for six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring the knee down, well done, give your hips a little wriggle, side to side, and what we're going to do, what time is it? 25, get up, and five minutes, Whoa. okay, all right, that was a nice little strengthening, so now I'm going to stretch it out in a little pigeon variation, so from here, we're just going to take a plank position, open the chest forward, squeeze through the heels, backwards, and then bring your knee forward towards your right elbow. <laughs> then try to turn the foot in and back to center. Uh, so in meaning right foot to the left side and back to center. Three more. Out and back to center. And out and back to center. And turn towards the left and then see if you can bring the foot down, knee down, reach the left leg back. If you have knee issues, then see if you want to do, uh, instead of coming to pigeon, you can line the back and maybe do figure of four. So you can line the back, bring your right foot in front of your left knee and hold this. This is also quite nice. Otherwise, if you're a pigeon, see if you can keep nice and active for a moment, pressing into your fingertips, lifting your back knee by tucking the left toes under and reaching the leg back, drawing the belly in, press into your right calf. I sometimes forget words, I'm half German, sometimes it just goes. And then I don't, feel, don't remember the German word either. It's like, mm. <laughs> okay, and then once you've had this, see if you can just bring the knee slowly down, keeping still active in your right leg, so pressing down. And then from here, walking your hands forward, bending your elbows to the side and resting your forehead on the floor and take a few breaths. If this is uncomfortable, make sure that you have support, maybe with a cushion or a block. I'm just taking five more breaths here. Feeling into the outside of your hip, so the glutes. Slowly release, come back up. And then tucking the left toes under, bring the left knee forward. Right leg goes back. If you are in figure of four, change over to the other side on your back and then come again into your plank position. Actually, you can do this one still. Come onto your plank position if you're on your back. And then from here, bring your left knee forward towards the left ankle. Don't collapse the shoulder, press the floor away. And we're going to turn the toes towards the right one. And back in, and two, and back in, and three, and back in, and four, and back in, one more, five, and then bring the left knee forward, bring the foot down, reaching that right leg back, support your left hip if you want, you do, and then come up to fingertips, pressing into the left leg, tuck the right toes under, and see if you can reach that right leg back, squeezing the glute. Activate the core, draw the belly in. And then from here, slowly releasing down. Keep still active, so let go slowly of the activation and then folding forward if that's available for you or stay up. And resting here, letting the heartbeat now come down a little bit. slowly coming back up, pressing hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the right toes under, bring the right knee forward, bring the left leg back, come into a downward facing dog, walk out a little bit through the heels again, and then just to finish, bring your knees one more time down, face knee or face the front, and then open your legs out to the side into the straddle, and then holding either your shins, your ankles, or your toes. 
take a breath in and then exhale and just reach the heels away from you finding your edge and then now slowing your breath down to a nice easy breath rhythm take a few moments to be in the body reach your heels away from you so you're active Keep the shoulders drawn together so you're again not collapsing forward. If this is challenging, you can still bend the knees slightly and do the same with your bent knees. Try to be comfortable with where you are right now. So you've done a little warm up for the hips. We worked in various directions. We strengthened, um, we strengthened the hip flexor and strengthened the side of the glutes. So just being comfortable where you are right now. You're not trying to push any further than what is acceptable for your body right now in this moment. Just sending your breath lovingly to the hips, to your body and to your mind. And then slowly come back up, walking your hands back or letting go of your ankles. And then just bring the soles of the feet together. Try to bring them quite close, wiggle the hips a little bit together. And then bring the hands behind your back. If you like, you can also take a block, not too hard on the book, maybe pull, uh, pad your book so it's not too light. And then press the feet together, so one more time. Open the toes and then squeeze the glutes underneath you. I'll show you sideways. Squeeze the glutes underneath you, draw the navel in and press the hips up. And if you're scooping your tailbone underneath you, draw the knees out to the side and push into your feet. And then just hold it and breathe. You might feel that it really opens up to the groin. If it feels okay, you can wriggle a little bit. Which is a weird place. Keeping that energy, keeping the feet squeezed together, slowly release your hips down. Keep scooping the tailbone underneath you. Keep that openness. Ah, oh, good. And then releasing the arms forward. Release the block. And then just come lying on your back, rolling yourself down. And then just to finish, bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a little squeeze towards the heart. And then straighten the leg out. Take the outside of your ankle or the outside of your right foot if that's available for you. Reach your right arm out to the right. You can also do with the left knee bent and then roll yourself over towards the left. My cupboard is in the way. Practical. <laughs> and take a little spinal twist. You can also do this with knees bent, of course. Breathing in, bring the knee back to center. Good. Straighten both legs out away from you. Give them a shake. And then bring in the left knee into your chest. Give it a hug. Knee draws inwards. And then from here, straightening out the leg. And again, you can. Hold the ankle or the outside of your foot with the right hand. Left arm out to the side and you can roll the leg over to the side. You can also bend the left knee, right knee, sorry. And twisting, just gently. to center and then stretch the legs away from you, give them a little shake, your arms can be by your side or you can rest your hands on your tummy or your heart 
I just take a couple of minutes to soften if you wish to stay a bit longer you can of course pause the video and remain for as long as you like feeling the ground underneath you feeling the energy in your hips that you've just created letting your legs be heavy letting your face become soft jaw soft And I slowly bring you back, so starting again to feel your breath in your body. And then begin to feel your feet. And very slowly start moving the big toes and then the other toes. Try to shine some light between the toes by be stretching them out and wriggling them. Feel the sensation of your toes. And then your ankles start to rotate your ankles. And then give your legs a little shake. So shaking out the legs. And then you can move your fingers. And breathe in and reach your arms overhead and give yourself a nice little stretch. Point the toes, maybe squeeze the legs together. See how long you are. Oh, it's like a yawn here. Mm. <laughs> and then you can roll yourself into a small ball by bringing your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug and say well done again to yourself. So every time you practice, every time you explore your body, you become a little bit more aware of what's going on. Observing yourself, observing your mind. And then you can either roll up and down the spine or you can roll over to one side. Just lie there for a little moment. And then slowly finding your way up, pressing the floor away. Keeping your gaze soft, try to avoid unnecessary movement and come to a seated position, hands on your thighs. Find a long spine. Close your eyes. Try to again recall those little points of contact, your sit bones on the floor, your feet on the floor, the breath moving in through the nostrils, into the belly, shoulders away from the ears, sides long, neck long. And then bringing your hands to your heart center if you like. Lift your heart to your hands. Remind yourself of your intention you set for yourself. Or the energy or love you sent out to someone. And then take a deep breath in. And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel nice and juicy in your hips. And hope to see you again soon. Uh, namaste everyone.